Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Today I'm outside. I'm going to show you how to do a vinyl uh, sticker for your car, a vinyl decal for your car. It's really simple. It's just a few things on the computer. I will show you step by step on how to make this and how to apply it to your car. Okay, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a car decal. It's so simple. So I'm going to actually go into upload and I'm going to pick an image that I already downloaded and added to design space. Uh, you can easily do this by buying something off of Etsy or going into Google and searching for SVG. I'm going to use these eyes and I just went into Google and I typed in eyes SVG and I found this and I thought it was pretty cool um, so I saved it to design space. If you don't know how to do this I'm going to be doing another tutorial pretty soon on how to do this and uh, find a SVG on, on Google, clean it up in design space and then also add it to design space. Um, it's rather easy and it's a lot cheaper than having to go and pay for something if you can find it yourself for free on Google. So that's where I found that. So with this, I'm just going to add the text back off. Whoops. And uh, I'm just going to put this on my car. I'm sick. I bought a my brother's truck, and um, I'm sick of people always being really close to me, especially with my kids in the car. So I thought this might get a little bit of attention, but we'll see. So I wrote back off. It's already selected. I'm going to go to the font, and I'm going to click on System. And the reason I go to System is because I don't pay for the monthly or the yearly subscription to Design Space. So the ones that they get, the the ones that Cricut gives you for free are in the System part, and also the ones that I had downloaded from Dafont.com. If you don't know how to download a font, I did do a tutorial a couple videos back showing you how to take a font from Dafont and put it into your Design Space account. So I'm just going to find an image, or actually a font on here that I really like, something that stands out and that's bold. I think there was one on here, yes, I like this one, it's called Impact. I really like that one, how it's nice and bold and it kind of gets the point across. So ideally I would like to make this image as one and fit on my mat. So I believe it's a 23.5 or 23 by 11.5. Uh, they won't let you do the full 24 by 12, so it's a little bit off. So with them both selected, I'm going to go up here and click the unlock box and change the width and the height. I'm going to try the 22 by 11.5 and see how that turns out. And I'm going to make my screen a little bit smaller. There's a little minus button and a plus button here so I can kind of see how big it is. And um, I think I'm going to try to work with this guy a little bit, make him a little bit smaller. Maybe move his eyes up a little bit and try to keep it um, as one so it'll cut out on one mat. So we've got to watch the size, but I like how this is. Maybe I'll make this guy a little bit bigger. Actually, I'm going to unlock it here and I'm just going to pull it down and make the words a little bit bigger. But I want to stay in the mat size of the 22. I think it's, it lets you go to 23.5. So I'm going to select all again and make sure I'm in that. Okay, I am. So I'm going to unlock here and I'm actually going to change it to, to like an even number. So it's going to be just 22 by 11.5 because then I know that will fit on my mat. So I like how this looks. One last thing I want to do is I'm going to select all. That will select both of the parts to it. I'm going to go to the line and I'm going to center the image. So it was pretty centered. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Sorry, one last thing. I'm going to select it all again, and then I'm going to click Attach. And then that will cut it out on one mat as you see it, so I won't have to worry about trying to put them together. So I'm just going to go up to Make It. And it's, I'm going to cut it out on white, but I'm not going to worry about that it's going to cut it out on black because it's all one color, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to push Continue because it's telling me that it's large for my mat. I'm going to push Continue at the bottom here. It's going to ask me to connect my machine. I have the maker, so mine might look a little bit different than yours. 
And then I have my materials here that I use most often. These are my favorites that I use. So when I use the Oracle 651, I just use the stencil vinyl. And I use the heat transfer vinyl. I just use this one, the heat transfer non-Cricut. I don't buy Cricut brand. Um, I see the cheaper stuff is kind of better in my opinion. Um, so I don't pay full price for the Cricut kind, but this is the um, material or the select, the, this is the one that I use for the heat transfer and this is the one I use just for the vinyl. I leave it as default, I let my machine take care of it. I'm gonna put it in on my mat, I'm gonna scrape it down with my scraper, I'm gonna cut it out, I'll weed it out, and then I will show you the next step. Okay, so I finished my file and I have it on transfer tape and I'm just peeling it back carefully. So help me if that's not doesn't go on straight, we're gonna end our relationship right now. So my husband's yelling at me, if you can hear him. So when you apply it, you wanna make sure you scrape it so you get all the bubbles out. If you don't have a scraper like this, you can just use a credit card, anything that has a flat part to it. But you wanna make sure you get all the bubbles out. If there's a few left in there, they'll make their way out eventually, but then you just peel back really lightly. I did use two pieces of transfer tape, so that's why it's coming off separate. You can see there are a few bubbles left on here. They will make their way out or you can just use your fingers and press them out. But eventually the warmth will make it not have bubbles in it anymore. <laughs> 